everyone, I'm Evelyn. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all having an amazing day. So today we are building a tiny house. It turns out tinier than it looks right now. Just want to point that out because I do make some changes to it. So we're building this for an influencer. I think I've done one influencer tiny house before, but it's a while ago. And this one definitely has a different vibe to it. I think the other one that I did was a little bit on the darker side, whereas this one is lighter, more delicate in the color scheme. It's very soft. We're using some pastels. Everything is slightly modern still, but definitely a little bit lighter and more delicate, softer. Sorry, I just hit my microphone. I am terribly sorry for that, but um, just trying to make it a little bit different and yeah, I hope you guys will like this house. Oh, another thing is that I tried to make it look like it could fit like a neighboring house to the one on the right here. So if you want to download both the houses, they will go well together. Although at some point I try to change up the color scheme so it would look better next to it, but I could not make any color scheme work. So I think the majority of the exterior turns out white with maybe just a little bit of like a wood tone here and there but i really tried for the longest time it took me i think it's been like half an hour 40 minutes or something just trying to fool around with the color scheme and it just was not working out so i tried though i tried but we're gonna go with a lot of white for the exterior in the end so another question because i kind of want to do these questions of the day things it's kind of prompted by i went on sort of like a break a weekend break with two friends of mine and one of the evenings we were playing a game which basically just consisted of cards with different questions on them but i kind of like it i don't know it was it was fun just to get people talking and stuff you know it was just the three of us but just to get us talking about different subjects than work for example so and also you know the typical girl stuff typical girl talk so we had these cards and I don't know, I thought it would be fun to maybe share some questions with you guys as well. So feel free to answer if you feel like it. I probably will not remember to do this or I probably won't remember to do this every single video, but I will try. So question, would you rather move to a new city or town every week or never be able to leave the city or town that you were born in ever so you're stuck in the same place or you constantly have to be on the move personally i don't like being stuck something that i've definitely felt over the past two two years two years and a couple of months so but i don't know it's such an extreme like but would you rather questions are always extreme so like that's just the way it is but I feel like for me, I would probably choose option one, which I know sounds crazy. Also, imagine the amount of time you'd have to spend moving, but like, I can't stay in the same bubble for too long without going a little... I need to go somewhere else, you know? So, I don't know. Let me know what you think, though. Let me know what your stand is on that. Let me know. Let me know your thoughts. So I said in yesterday's video that I was going to have a bigger build up tomorrow as well. But honestly, unfortunately, I've had a headache for the past like since yesterday evening. So I'm going to try not to sit behind my computer for too long today. So it'll probably be a smaller house tomorrow, if anything. But the other house that I was talking about is definitely going up on the channel next week. So just uh, just in case I don't make it for tomorrow, just just know. I'm dealing with a headache. I'm blaming it on my hair. Do you guys ever, if you have long hair, long thick hair, does it ever get so heavy that it just kind of gives you a headache? Because it does to me and it's, I refuse to cut my hair. So I know that it's solely my fault. <laughs> I do realize that, but also I just have very thick hair. And yes, I'm complaining about that because it's like, Genetically, we got very thick hair in our family, but I'm also a redhead and they have redheads in general have thicker hair than other people too. So it's it's just a lot and it's heavy and it's very long. I need to go to the hairdresser and get it cut. But anyway, I think that's why it could be something else too. But just know that if it doesn't work out with tomorrow's build, that would be why. I just need a break from screens and such so i'm probably gonna go read or something else maybe do a tiny house and i'll share that with you tomorrow i'm so behind on my reading as well yes i make plans for my reading now so i can actually get behind on reading that doesn't make any sense but you know <laughs> it's fine i have goals i have reading goals that's just how it is <laughs> 
But anyway, as for the house, this is what I tried to fix the color scheme. Oh gosh, this reminds me. When I was doing this, when I was building this house, I was watching a, a movie on Netflix that was called Our Final Year or something. It had uh, Rebel Wilson in it. It was not good. I just wanted, <laughs> just so you know, it was not good. I don't recommend, but I just got a flashback to the movie as I'm watching this right now, because usually if I'm watching something while I'm building it, um, building it, while I'm building whatever, I'm doing the voiceover for. Um, I will, uh, I will kind of get flashbacks of whatever I've been watching. So if it's like a crime show, suddenly I'll have like a little monologue of whatever happened with a person in a true crime case. It's a whole thing. So this time I watched a movie on Netflix. Don't actually usually do that, but I just felt like switching it up for a little bit. And uh, I cannot recommend it. I just thought I would share that with you. So you're welcome for that completely use useless um, little piece of information. It's not a good movie. But I mean, if you like if you like those kinds of movies, then maybe you'll enjoy it. And also by those kinds of movies, I mean like, I personally like to, is it called guilty pleasures? When you watch like, what, what are the, like, uh, people think these movies are bad. Like they're commonly known as bad movies, but you're kind of enjoying them anyway. Those are guilty pleasures, right? I don't actually know, but I do that sometimes with other movies. I can't really come up with any off the top of my head, but I like to watch what are considered bad movies sometimes and I enjoy them, but I do know that they're still bad. <laughs> so I don't know if you're, if you're into those kinds of movies, you might like it, but it was not that great in my opinion. <laughs> but also it could be that it's just that my standard now has changed to Heartstopper. That is the standard. So everything else just kind of pales in comparison. I don't know if you haven't watched Heartstopper, I think I talked about it last week in a video, but if you haven't watched it, what are you doing? Go watch it. It's amazing. After you watch this video, of course, I have to say that it's mandatory. Anyway, so working on the exterior still took a lot of time on this. Basically didn't really have much to do at the end of the video, which is when I usually do the backyard, but I'm okay with that. I just kind of had this, I wanted to get the fencing down in the backyard before I moved on to the interior, even doing the floor plan. I just felt like I needed to get it done. So that that's what that was about. But we do play some, play some furniture down at the end of the video. So as for the, uh, the floor plan, you walk into the kitchen, which I know that some of you guys don't like, but I do. So I'm gonna stick with it. <laughs> and essentially there's just the kitchen, there's a living room. It's a rather spacious living room for a tiny house. They have this little corner where they have what's called a desk with a computer. So I kind of figured that that's, I try to fit in this table because I thought that it would be perfect for this house, but I couldn't actually fit it into the house, which sucks. So I don't, that was the thing. I tried, couldn't make it work, but um, they have this little corner over there with the computer and of course a bedroom and also you kind of have to walk through the bedroom to get to the bathroom, but I know that's, that's kind of standard for some, apartments some apartments in the u.s not all but some apartments i've heard that's the standard but also i'm not from the u.s i don't live there so i wouldn't really know <laughs> but anyway um you can't have to walk through the the bathroom no bedroom to get to the bathroom but that's just how it is in this house i had some fun with the bathroom with the color scheme because i found out that one of the ki uh one of the toilets not kitchens english is going so well today have you guys noticed anyway um, one of the toilets comes in a pink swatch and I was not aware of this so I had a little bit of fun in the bathroom but it's not like it's great looking or anything it's just there was a cute pink toilet that I've never used so I felt like using it but as for whatever we're decorating right now which is the living room you can kind of sense the color scheme off of everything going on in the living room with the accented walls I used some, instead of using the pink swatch for the sofa, I decided to go for yellow, but it still has the same soft, light, beige kind of wood swatch that I kind of wanted to go with for the rest of the house too. So we're using a lot of dream home decorator for this house, but that colors, that, that um, the wood swatch, I don't think any other packs came with that wood swatch to be honest, and I just needed that wood swatch for this house. I felt like it was perfect. It was either gonna be this one, which has like, I 
feel like it has a slight pink tint to it, but that might just be my head. I don't really know. It was either going to be that one or the lighter one, which is almost leaning yellow. And I just felt like this one right here fit a little bit better. So we're going for dream home decorator in this house. But it also meant that I could use the modular couches. So it just, it worked out for the better. Let's be real. Um, but I am switching it up a little bit. Not really. <laughs> not really, no. Um, it's just the bed in the bedroom is not from Dream Home Decorator, but as for the rest of the house, that's just how it is. That's just how it is today. I'll do something else in the next house, I promise. But as for what kind of influencer I think lives in this house, I don't think they're a makeup influencer, although I am getting that kind of vibe from their interior. However, I do think that they do something lifestyle related. So I also made sure that they could have friends over or just guests over and throw some almost parties in the backyard. They definitely, they have both a bar and a bigger grill and also a bar table. So there's room to have guests over and throw some parties and stuff if they want that. Although I forgot, maybe I should have placed like a, a stereo outside, but those break. If it starts raining and you've put an electronic device outside, it breaks, right? I think I've heard that. And I mean in The Sims, because I know that that's a thing in real life, but I mean in The Sims. I'm pretty sure when Get Famous came out, everyone, or not everyone, but a couple of us at least, started to do like outdoors cinemas in the backyards of some houses. I'm pretty sure that I did one at least. And I saw some other people do them as well, I think. But you kind of had to do this little roofing situation above the TV because otherwise if it started raining or snowing, the TV would break. So I don't know if it's the same with music, music devices, but maybe it's for the better that I didn't place one outside. But you could at least drag the one from the living room outside if you want to throw like a party with music and everything. Although they don't have a dancing floor, dance floor. Yeah, that's what it's called. <laughs> But um, I don't know, not me trying to tell you how to throw parties in The Sims, as if I know anything about throwing parties in The Sims or in real life. You figure that out yourself, it's okay. Oh, but that is the pink toilet. Look how cute that is. I think it's from Snowy Escape, I think. But um, I don't know, it's just so cute. I came across it and I was like, yes, we gotta use this. <laughs> it's a little bit extra, but like I've never used a pink toilet ever before. So I just kind of had to use it. Um, not that there's much else going on in the bathroom. I tried to match it with the shower stall, although they are slightly different shades of pink. So it, if that bothers you, I apologize. But if it's if it doesn't bother you, well, you got yourself a pink shower stall and a pink toilet. Pretty cool. So this is their little work corner where I think they do some editing unless they got an editor hired or whatever. So jealous, would love that. But anyway, um, and also the letters on the desk are supposed to be fan mail. I thought that would be kind of cute. Plus also the postcards. I think they're also from friends, but also fans. So I think the uh, the person living in this house definitely appreciates their viewers a lot. And um, although they're a little bit behind on opening the, the fan mail, but you know, <laughs> that's just how it is, okay? <laughs> but I thought it would be fitting to place it there. So I went for it, even if it is unopened, but I couldn't also find opened letters and place them on, like I couldn't find them. So I don't know if there are any, but I definitely went through a diffle, a diffle, what is that? <laughs> a couple of different options before going with that one. So, but that's what, that's what those are about. They're not unopened bills or anything like that. It's just fan mail. I thought it would be cute. So the last room that we are decorating is the kitchen, which I know is completely unusual. I start out with the kitchen usually, so I don't, I don't know what happened. I think I placed now the basics and then I just got started with the living room instead. I'm not really sure why, but they have a pretty small little kitchen here. It just fits into a corner, although it should have everything that they should need. And I really wanted to use another stove than this one. So I wanted to use the one from, or the ones from Dream Decorator, the ones that are split up, but unfortunately it does require, or actually no, it doesn't. I could have, I could have moved them around a little bit. Never mind. I, I messed it up, but it's fine. I think this layout is better than the one that I could have gone with if I had gone for the split up stove and oven situation. So, and also here, this was just, 
because this little gap in between the, uh, the the kitchen counter and the fridge bothered me so so much for some reason. <laughs> Usually I'm like, let's just turn the other the other cheek, let's just ignore it. But in this house, it, it, it annoyed me so much that I ended up sizing up some shelves, some base game shelves, and just played around with tool a little bit. So, um, I don't know, the color swatches are so off because the whites don't match, it's so weird. So I ended up switching it back to gray again, but that's what that situation was about. It's still functional, I did test it, everything should be good. But just know before you place down this build, if you decide to download it, you do have to activate BB Move objects. So that's a thing. But you should be doing that regardless because a lot of us don't. If you ever, um, this is actually a question that I get on every single video. How do I freely place stuff? That's by activating move objects, but also by using alt when I place down stuff. So on my keyboard, I press down alt while I'm placing the stuff and I can just kind of freely kindly <laughs> kind of freely move it from the grid so it's not like stuck on the grid yeah that makes sense um so whenever you do that for a build if i like put it on the gallery and you guys download it you do have to activate the cheat as well otherwise some of the stuff will go missing and things won't be placed where they're supposed to be placed and stuff like that so you should always always activate move so what I'm gonna go with. We're gonna call it that right now. Moo. <laughs> Should always activate that before you place down any builds from the gallery. I feel like I've gotten more and more nasal throughout this voiceover, but my nose is like, <laughs> it's a thing. We're not gonna talk about it, but if you were wondering, which I'm sure you weren't, there you go. We're a little bit stuffy today. It's fine. But as for the rest of the backyard, place down some cute light ropes. Those are from Toddler Stuff Pack. I overuse these quite a lot, but they are adorable and fit in so many situations. I also actually changed the color. So, oh, that was so annoying. Anyway, but I changed the colors. So the pink ones actually emit pink light and the blue one emits blue light because I thought that would make like an extra little twist to it and then it was either a pool or a hot tub so I went with a pool, filled it up with some floaties, adding some details, a little bit of landscaping and I think that is actually it for this video. If you got any questions for me let me know in the comments and if you like this house you can download it off the gallery. My ID is EvelynYT and you can also find it under the hashtag Evelyn or EvelynYT and as always, the tray files can be found over on my Patreon, which will be linked to both in the description box where you can find all the build info, but also in the pinned comment. And if you like books and you like booktube, definitely check out my channel. It'll also be linked to in the pinned comment. But that is all I got for you guys today. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and all that good stuff if you did. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.